Yeah, so she's from uh, she's from Cambodia from a slaughterhouse, and so she was hung and beaten. At that district, they use their feet to make soup until they cut her feet off too. So, so you told me that you like turned the corner and saw them doing that. So I go undercover into slaughterhouses in Asia to kind of document what they do, kind of like groups do here in factory farms, mm -hmm. uh, to raise awareness and hopefully to ban the dog meat trade in those countries. And so when I was coming around the corner, uh, yeah, they were processing her is what they call it. And so they beat her up and they were cutting her feet off. I mean, how do you resist the temptation to just say, stop, you know, what are you doing? Well, I think in the moment you become whoever you need to. Mm -hmm. And that's kind of like what gets you through it all. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So. And, you were, and, and so how did you wind up with her? Well, when we leave, you know, there's a bunch of dogs unconscious on the ground, or some of them are still conscious, and we asked if we could try the meat, and so that's how we got her. Uh, we rescued her and one other dog that passed away with that. And so you pretended that you wanted the dog meat? Uh, to try it. To, to try it, yeah. Yes. And then so yeah. they just gave you, and, and uh, when was that? When did you rescue her? Uh, she was rescued in April, and so she stayed at the vet for about three months, mm -hmm. and then I, I guess she came back in July. Uh, uh, yeah, we, we bring so many dogs right. back, it's kind of hard to remember. But she's been on Capitol Hill, right? Yeah, so she came to a briefing uh, held by Congressman Elsie Hastings mm -hmm. uh, in support of a resolution against the dog meat trade in Asia called HRES 752. And so she was kind of like, she was a witness to the terror of it. And she did a good job. Yeah. It's hard for Americans to imagine anybody uh, eating dog. And number one, eating dog meat, and then number two, the torture that goes on. What is behind that? Yeah, it's not only the eating of the dogs that is hard to stomach, but it's this belief that if they abuse or are cruel to the animal first, that it makes the meat taste better. And so that's what I think mm -hmm. most people stand up against, and that's what we're trying to stop. And so, mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, they're not. Uh, they're not killing these animals humanely. No, no. They, they, they get boiled alive, burnt alive, stuff like that. And so it's it's the most barbaric thing I've ever seen. Yeah. But um, so you've got Liberty here, and uh, she has no front feet. She could cut off right at her mm -hmm. knees. Uh, I, I guess Joints? it's. I don't know. Yeah, I guess uh, it's kind of just the front what? paws are cut off, but a little high up. Okay. And so. She's been fostered with our family for ever since she came back. Yeah. Uh, my kids want to keep her. <laughs> <laughs> Who wouldn't want to keep? Uh, yeah. Who wouldn't want to keep Liberty? Hi, sweetie. She's so cute. <laughs> uh, what a gentle dog. Yeah. She, you know, it's amazing. I always say that we have so much to learn from animals because yeah. the way they can forgive and move forward. If a human being kind of underwent this, I think they'll be hateful for the rest of their life, and so it's pretty amazing. That she can turn around and let you pet, yes. let a human being pet her. Yeah, it's, like, uh, it's like she's forgiven our species for the way we've treated her. Yeah, but not only that, she's I mean, she's learning that people, that, that humanity exists, and so that mm. there still are nice people in the world, and so it's pretty amazing. Yeah. 